starting this thing out. I want you to know, I want you, I want you, I want you to know that this is not to denounce any persons from Ohio or the people of Ohio is the way I could say it. Nor is it to support the people of Pennsylvania anymore either way that it is to denounce or support any other people because what I've learned in life no matter where you go the worst things you hear about people you run into people from that fucking place the government they call the people people are either cool or they're an asshole it's not the government well sometimes it is <laughs> I guess the government can really turn people on their heels can it It'll make you do things you would never expected of yourself it's like oh like being part of an interrogation. Oh, it's like saying, one day I'm going to ask you a favor. Next thing you're standing outside of a damn diner with a fucking sidearm going, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but I hear a lot of shooting. Mm. What I'm doing here. Look at that. The Punxsutawney spirit. Go Punxy. You know, you know, Victoria and I went up there for uh, Thanksgiving weekend, my birthday weekend. And on the way out in the morning, the last morning we were there, we got breakfast. I don't normally eat breakfast, but you got to eat breakfast in Punxsy. It was a fine, fine breakfast. Punxy restaurants or something like that. Punxy, I don't know what the hell it was called. It's on a receipt somewhere. But uh, I went outside to the car to get something, and I looked, and there was one of those damn old-fashioned mail uh, newspaper things. You put in the money and open it up, and I looked, and I said, they still have them. And I ran out. That's what it was. I was smoking a cigarette next to the machine. I turned around and said, what the fuck is that? And I see this sitting there. I see the fire truck that we saw. That was an integral part of our whole trip. Um, so I went to the car and I got 75 cents out of my coin tray that I'd been keeping in there for something. I knew I had three quarters. I said, I got three quarters in case you need it a little bit less than a dollar, you know? And, uh, I bought it and here it is. Um, there are stories about the parade in Brookville the night before, and this was a Saturday paper. We bought it on Sunday morning, but uh, Saturday. Night. And kittening woman pleads guilty to involuntary, involuntary manslaughter in 2021 crash. I read it. Poor woman hit a fucking motorcyclist trying to make a fucking speedy turn or something. Uh, killed the driver and his rider. Uh, she lost a leg. And uh, it talks about that. And then Brookville to host historic church detour or tour December 10th. That was last weekend. I saw that. I was like, look at this, baby. We could make the historic church tour. We could be reading the fucking shit on the walls. I mean, I read all this stuff about magic. I could fucking find the... It, it is the Keystone State. I could find the Keystone to my fucking religion and philosophy. That which everybody will want. Everybody likes a president that's got a good religion and philosophy. And, uh, yeah. So there's stuff. There's pictures of a, a native photo winning contest. It's a good paper. And you look through it and it's talking about, we noticed while we were there, they were like, the bed and breakfast we were in was shut down for breakfast because of the COVID and people were doing things because of the COVID and there were signs, there were, and it was like, I thought that thing was over. Isn't everybody fucking vaccinated? But no, it turns out they were right on board. It was, and now we've got a spike. They were shutting it down in, in Pennsylvania there. But the thing that I bring this up about, 
the only reason we ended up going to Punxsutawney was because I know I have left Ohio near the West Virginia border on an 80 to 80 degree day where I almost left all my cold weather gear at my friend's house and drove up and ended up in a blizzard in uh, Grayling before I got home. There was a fucking blizzard. I had everything on I could. Wind howling straight from the north. I was only getting 24 miles a gallon when I would have been getting 40. I almost ran out of gas because it was just, it was hardcore. And uh, I, I was like, hey, let's go someplace as far south as we would go to go to Gaylord. And we can have just some small town and a uh, unheard of communi community get a room next to a bar somewhere, maybe a room with a bar, and uh, go someplace where it's warmer. And I'm gonna tell you this. She said it. She says, you sure we wanna go into Ohio? And I went, I really don't know about that. And we said, well, I said, what about Pittsburgh? And she said, I've never been to Pittsburgh. And I said, I've never spent any time in Pittsburgh. I've driven through it in the middle of the night, but I, I haven't had a proper stay in Pittsburgh. I said, let's, let's go there. And she said, oh, and she's pulling up them. And I said, is there anything around Pittsburgh? And she's looking, she's punks done. It was close enough. It was like another half hour ride or something from where we were coming from. And it was like, oh my God, we get to go to Groundhog Day, Punxsutawney, possibly get snowed in. If we're going to be cold, we might as well be someplace where we feel pretty good about it. And uh, here's the point. Cigarette went out. This is not about the people, the Ohio people. This is not about the Pennsylvania people. And the interesting thing in Pennsylvania, the angry Amish woman brought up, I said, I went to Pennsylvania over the week. And she's like, oh, they got a problem with the Democrats over there. I said, Oh, the greatest thing. I said, nobody even talked about politics. Not a single person brought up politics in Pennsylvania. And she said, oh, that's nice. And she showed her fucking false teeth. Every time she smiles, I know she's lying to me. She just shows them as big as she can. Why does she have false teeth? Don't all Amish girls and women have false teeth? That's the thing I saw about the Amish was the one girl who fucking ratted out her cousins for raping her in the barn. Her mother said, come on, took her down to the dentist and he fucking took out all her fucking teeth. And she said to him afterwards, said to her, she said, we'll see how much you talk now. So there are your fucking Amish. She's showing her false teeth. She's been fucking brainwashed and fucking put in a life of fear ever since her first rape more from her mother than her fucking cousin, I'm guessing. Fear. What would she do to me to keep me from being my own person? Fear. So she grows up like that. She acts like it's a good thing nobody talked about politics, but I don't want her going there. That was a good place. It was a fantastic place. I realize I never talked to you about that place beyond the horizon where I went in China. It was a fucking fantastic place. I've been in Brigadoon so many times in my life and walked out on my own fucking free will that I don't usually like to tell people good places because they go and spoil them. We were only there for a couple days. That was long enough. Nobody fucking really learned how to hate us properly. Something for everyone to hate.
the Judas resurrection. So the point is, this is for the governments of places. Because of the way shit is going and because people I talk to that are down there, just to be able to fucking understand what's really happening. We decided not to take our wondrous winter Thanksgiving vacation in Ohio because we didn't want to fuck. Didn't even want to go to Xenia. Gummo. We went to Pennsylvania because of something that had just happened and it seemed like if that happened there, then people aren't going to be fucking just talking about it all the time, probably. Didn't even take it that far into consideration. We just figured there were going to be fucking people that really were middle of the road that you could fucking hang out with. And so we went to Pennsylvania on our vacation because we didn't want to go to Ohio. We went further than we would have around the lake because we don't like the way they're running their politics. You might want to talk to your chamber of commerce for fucking states like this and places that are fucking pushing. You are ruining the economy of the fucking locals that feed off the generosity of the nut jobs that just got to get away from where they live for a minute because everybody's catching on to them. But there it goes, your bread and butter, mother. Oh. And we were in Punxsutawney, and we had a wonderful time. I even talked to oh, the commissioner of something, Brookville or something, he said he loved my hat. You want money? You want peace? You just write your senators and congressmen and tell them, shut the fuck up. <laughs>